Firstly, Durka, how close was that? It was pretty close. All three maps, but we knew, like, we like squeaky bomb time, like Boaster says, and we just, like, knew, like, sometimes we go into overtimes, like, choke a bit, and then we, we just, like, randomly win two rounds, which happened today on Fracture. Like, on other maps, I think, like, Split, we choked and lost our, like, own rounds on our own mistakes, like, stupid ones, but it's, like, easily fixable, so, like, no need to worry, just go, like, next. We are, like, on next stage, so don't care. Um, and what changed on Fracture um, from you to go from being, I believe it was 11-4 uh, up to going to overtime? Um, was it purely an attack side diff, or was it other factors coming into play as well? Uh, I think attack side is, for us, pretty good. CT struggling a bit, we saw that in Prax and today. But I think we started panicking too a little bit, doing like some choices, throwing random stuff or like uh, throwing some straps or like saying, oh, it will work, I'm fixing it, instead of like just doing our normal stuff and fixing it, uh, like just like we will normally do in Prax. Like it, it was just a bit of overthinking and panicking. And what conversations were going on before you headed into overtime uh, to get yourselves back over the line? It was like unlucky. We got every round so close. We we are going to go T side and it's going to be easy because our T side is actually pretty good. And on CT, it was like, uh, okay, let's play our normal. I, I was saying, they don't take uh, satellites for me, so I'm just going to stay there and just like wait uh, like whole round then when we knew they were coming to bomb side we were like okay this is so easy to uh, retake we know our stuff we did it perfectly and won the game and uh, given you guys didn't have to have to play an lcq um do you think that you had an edge on fracture as opposed to cloud nine purely because uh, you had that more time to that bit more time to practice I don't think any team in this stage or like champions has had or has any like edge. I think everyone knows how everyone plays, just small stuff, throwing some like uh, random scary stuff. So like it's a surprise, but I don't think it's like overall that, oh, because someone played LCQ, they didn't win or like uh, some other team had edge over them. So my opinion is that like we are just better on Fracture. I think it's one of our best maps, if not the best. Uh, but like we just need to chill, calm down our game, and everything should be fine. Um, and you had months without playing in that tier one competition. Um, you haven't played in right competition for a while. How did you warm up so quickly and get that first win on the on, on Icebox? Uh, I think it's kind of stuff we knew from Iceland that we won't have m much time to prepare uh, to warm up like on stage. So it's like we already started practicing before that to warm up uh, uh, like five to ten minutes because we will have only five minutes if not like ten uh, or even less. So we kind of knew what we were going into. We warm up before coming here. We are very hungry because we missed the Berlin competition and we uh, missed the Iceland competition because it was fun. We are all together on stage. We see the enemies. Just the, the feeling is overall much like different. Just like nice that uh, thank you Gambit <laughs> that they like carried us to champs basically and now we just have to give it our uh, all because this is the last tournament of the season who knows what's going to happen next and uh, like we practice whole year since we like me and Magnum came in and it's just like we don't want to regret anything uh, that we didn't do better or like we missed some time or we could like spend more time on the server. 
And speaking of, you know, being on stage, one of the, the highlights before the game was Boaster, um, who's known for being, you know, quite performative on stage. Yeah. But he's also really good at Valorant. I mean, he was played really well for you guys today. Yeah. What did you make of his performance? I think Boaster overall is like really insane player. But because he's agile, he has to focus on things like map, uh, putting players in different positions or like micromanaging. So sometimes he doesn't have his eyes on the crosshair. But I will say when he does his own thing and uh, everything is under control, he's like even one of the best aimers, like easily, I will say. And um, I think him uh, cheering everything up, like camera, stage, and making us have fun by his like performances on the stages that are like hyping us up it really helps us too so it's not like how only he performs at the stage uh, on in the game but also like how much he impacts on our gameplay outside of the game and you personally i mean you had a you had a great series today um and you heading into the Further on in the competition, could be playing some really hyped duelists, so the likes of Tens, CNED, Scream. Uh, you showed some real quality and, you know, particularly a good performance on Icebox. Um, how do you think you compare to those top um, sort of most discussed duelists in Valorant? Uh, I think in Iceland, it was a moment when I was rising up till, till the finals, then I went back into shadows and kind of like people don't like notice me much but i don't care really i feel like after iceland i wasn't in my form or like practice that much which, which was kind of problem but now when we came to berlin we had boot camp i think we are well prepared i'm well prepared i feel like i'm back in my form and i feel like it's even better than before so i'm like really excited to meet like every top team top duelist top I, like I don't care who I'm just like ready to win them all and finally you've got vision strikers in the next round uh what do you make of those guys as, as opponents uh I like their strats sometimes totally a bit uh in my ex teams but like overall good team sometimes when I watch them I have kind of similar like feeling about us how they play even with different comps and style i still feel like kind of same vibes so i feel like game versus them will be exciting and we also are gonna have a very exciting game because they said in the press conferences that like they're the best on the fracture and everyone can challenge them so i'm ready for that i'm up for that and see who's the best on fracture i'm like all on it